In this lesson, we're going to take a look at the bracket operator. The bracket operator is a little bit different. We pass arguments to it in a little bit different fashion. So let's take a look. We're going to do a code trace. Here in main, we're going to declare a fraction with numerator 3 and denominator 4. And then I'm going to output f of 4, f of 1, and f of 5. So what do we mean by f of anything? Well, the bracket operator also known as the projection operator, is typically used for indexing. So this example is a bit contrived, I know. But what we're going to do is we're going to define the bracket operator to index into a fraction object. So the way we define it is to return an int that's going to be either a numerator or a denominator. It's scoped as a fraction, of course. And we pass to it an int called index. It's a const function because it's not going to change anything with the calling object. And what's it going to return? Well, if the index that's passed to the function is 0, we're going to return the numerator. And otherwise, we'll return the denominator of the calling object. So f of 0, that should return what? That should return the numerator, or in this case, 3. f of 1, well, the argument that we're passing is 1. That's what goes in for index here. That's not 0. Therefore, this should return the denominator. And f of 5, that should return the denominator also. Output should be 3, 4, and 4. So let's go through a code trace and see what it looks like. Fraction is 3 fourths. Uh, numerator is 3. Denominator is 4. So we're going to take a look first at f of 5. Then we call the function. Index is 5, that returns the denominator, and we put 4 into the output buffer. Then a space, then we're going to call f bracket operator, passing 1. Index is 1, that's not 0, and so we return the denominator. So 4 goes into the output buffer, then a space, and then f is 0. So we're passing 0 in as the index, so index is 0. That means we're going to return the numerator. And so we'll return and output the numerator, which is 3. So when the output buffer is flushed, we end up with 3, a space, 4, and then 4. And here's a bunch of walkies. And that's the end of our session.